hi youtube hey this is gish gish if you're new here welcome to my channel for all the people who already know who i am hey so you know you know what i'm gonna say i like it if you please like comment and subscribe look at this one log look at that that look what it does you see what i mean this these two locks even my first set of locks has been annoying but because it's like it just won't sit still especially this one but it's it's always been the right it's always been the right <sighs> anyways guess what today is today's my one year anniversary of my second uh case of locks okay this is my second set of locks second set of locks it's been one year, so it's um officially locked all year around. And uh, hopefully the lighting you can see. I don't know. I feel like I might need to get some lighting or whatever. I don't know. But here's the front. You see it? You see? You see? You see? You see? I actually washed it yesterday as well because it was time to wash. And here's the side. Let me back up. I look ugly from my side, so don't get me. I look ugly as hell from the side. Look, see what I'm saying? Look. Then you have the back of the hair. Just let y'all see that. Look. See, it shakes a little bit, don't it? You see it shake? Sorry, my boyfriend talked about something, about something to eat. I mean, if you want to make food. So his other side, you see it? All right, so we are officially locked. Let me back up. Let me show y'all my outfit. I'm trying something new, okay? So ignore my big ass slippers, okay? I, I like to get big slippers, okay? I had these for a couple years now because I have flat feet and it makes my feet comfortable, okay? So I have the scuba divers from Steven Madden and it's actually bigger than my actual foot size, but oh well, I don't give a fuck. Anyways, what you think? I don't know. I feel like because I have broad shoulders, it's, it's all right. I don't really have too much of a body, but you know, it, you know, I don't really got ass, a little flat, you know. It's a little something to work with, you know. A little something. Let me get, hold on to Jada Wade and Blue Skinny. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. So, since we're, since it's my one year anniversary of locks, I decided to hold myself accountable about locks. Because I'm telling you, I'm going to try to do this series or episodes or videos where I'm talking about how I'm holding myself accountable so I can, you know, accept things and grow and go to another level. So, let's get on to that. So, um, my first set of locks was in 2020, July 17th, and I officially, I really wanted it to be this set of locks. Like, I wanted it to be like this, like chunkier, thicker, like 50, but I wasn't sure. And I felt like at that time, I was very uncertain about a lot of things in my life, but it's okay because I'm like 18, so wouldn't I be, duh. And, you know, my first set of locks, I did a lot of mistakes, I guess. It was too much bleaching, which was crazy because not really. I only bleached like maybe three times, but that's probably a lot. But there's some people who have locks and they bleach their hair plenty of times, like more than me. Um, Dye. I feel like dyeing the hair wasn't an issue. I feel like it was just the bleach. That was one. Lint. I did not know about I knew about lint because I have natural hair like regardless if you have locks or not lint gets into your hair especially black people's hair um black people like and I'm pretty sure for other races as well but black people it really begin in there and I have 4c here so it's gonna be in there like 4c maybe 4b I don't know who really cares uh and lint gets into your locks and I did not know about brushing your locks until maybe a year or two after I already had my locks with my locks was already set and I one of my problems was that I would try to like I think my second to third year of my first set of locks 
I try to take the lint out, but when you take the lint out, it's kind of, you're kind of like combing out your locks. So it was making it thinner and that was an issue for me. Like not everywhere though. Like I didn't, not everywhere, like not my whole set of locks, but like, you know, right here, the places that would probably be a little naturally thinner, at least for me. Um, I don't think you can see this. This lock is already thinning and I feel like it's not my, I, like I have thick hair. So I'm, my hair isn't thinning. I'm not losing hair. I don't have alopecia or anything. I just think the side of my hair, like this side of the edges, but like it's naturally kind of like somewhat thin. I don't really know. Like it's not, I don't have thin hair at all. Like it's very extremely thick. So I just feel like, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Another thing is gunk and building something happened to my phone so i might have to record the rest another day so i'm gonna record this another day because i don't want to upload and then keep on having issues with my phone so i'll be back all right and i'm gonna be back about what i want to hold myself accountable when it comes to my hair because it's a lot and it's some insecurities in there that i feel like a lot of people will understand especially my black people you know because We've been always told all our lives that our hair isn't good enough, you know, so you really do feel that way, especially when you have a certain hair texture. If your hair isn't the stereotypical curly, you don't think it's cute, which I had the opposite in some ways because I always liked, I didn't, well, I'll, I'll explain another time. Let me go. Hey, I'm back. So I'm going to record this before I go to work. And I would just like to say thank you to every single body <clears throat> or every single person who liked my latest video, who loved it, who the comments, the likes, the more subscribers, the, um, sorry, my DoorDash here, I just saw him, the, the support, the love, everything, that really means <clears throat> a lot to me because it's, it's hard to find motivation for videos, especially when you don't know if people are going to like it or not. I thought that that video might be boring to people, but it turns out people like it. And I'm glad because it's encouraging me to talk about the things that I want to talk about without being so self-conscious or insecure about if it's going to be boring to people because it's not trendy or whatever. But, okay, give me one second. My order is here. I bitch got to eat before she go to work. But before I eat, I'm going to record this and then eat. So, with locks, um, I'm going to be honest with you. With my sugar journey, I felt like it brung out, it brung out a new beginning, but also some... <laughs> Pepper, can you not? Pepper. And like, I just wanted to say like, with my new journey, I feel like because of my experience with short hair as a kid, or not even as a kid, but like middle school years, cause I cut off my perm hair and it was really short. So I looked like a little African school girl, whatever. And the reaction I got was not that great. Like I was excited to cut the hair and do something different and go natural because I always loved natural hair. I didn't even know it was called natural hair. So like maybe middle school, okay? Cause all I knew was perm and a lot of girls had perm hair. It was a very few rare black girls who had perms. I meant, I meant natural hair. So I didn't really know what it was called. I'm like, don't come for me, but hey. And you know, I had a bad reaction to it. And like people be like, oh, why you cut your hair? Why you do that? Cause it wasn't in trend. I'm being honest with you, I cut my hair like in eighth grade. So that was like what, 2000? 15 2016 like 2015 to going to 2016 and i got a negative reaction from cutting my hair and you know some that don't make you feel great about yourself because i always got made fun of for my parents especially by my father and his some of the family members on my dad's side so that doesn't help your confidence or anything but you know i was just like whatever fuck it you know i'm gonna just cut my hair like i'm gonna cut it's cut like i i wanted to be natural and then people's like but why did you cut it to be natural and i'm like because i'm not finna have half natural hair half perm that look crazy you know my mom also she wasn't a hairstylist she don't really know much about hair like she did my hair sometimes but she don't know how to do hair <laughs> so you know that was another problem i had and um, when I, I, I was always tomboyish, so me with short hair and baggy clothes, people think you gay. Like, people ask me if I was lesbian, if I was gay, if I like girls, is there something wrong with me? Because 
I didn't um, wear some, I wasn't really wearing um, anything feminine at the time. So I was just like, you know, it didn't really get to me as much until like maybe later, I guess. Meaning I, maybe I had some type of delayed feeling now that I'm thinking about it, but I, I really don't know. I'm pretty sure it bothered me a little bit, but not really because I was expecting that. Cause I'm like, well, I do kind of look like a little boy or whatever, but at the end of the day, I know I'm not, you know, gay or anything. So, you know, when I first, I'm just saying like after a while, I, in a way, I kind of feel like it didn't affect me as much than I thought until I got locks. Now, when I first started my first set of locks, I didn't really care it was short. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I, I loved it, but then I'm not going to say a lot of you. When you go through a certain stage of locks, people call the ugly stage. It, I ain't going to lie. I kind of get it. <clears throat> Some people say, oh, we shouldn't call it the ugly stage. And I do get that because it's black hair. It's black people hair. Like, our hair is beautiful because we've been told our whole life that our hair is not good enough. It's ugly. It's not suitable. But I'm going to just be honest with you. That lock stage, when your hair looking crazy... It looks crazy like you look crazy and that's why some people want to get instant locks or they want to shade like locks in because it does mess up with your confidence i'm not gonna see a lie with you because how do you make yourself look good and it's you know coil a puff coil a puff coil or it looks crazy it's sticking out it's short it's here there there you can't really style it you know and unless you like when you start off your locks is like long so it does take away your confidence. So when I had to do my second journey, it, it reminds me of, I guess, the bad reactions. Pepper, get away from my, Pepper. It does remind me of also those comments in school, like, oh, I look like a little boy, I look ugly, I look bad. You know, cause I even got that from my dad. Like he was like, are you gay? Are you a little boy? You know, I don't have the best father, but. And it tears up your confidence because then you think people are saying that about you and i i had that and you feel like you have to show something especially if you're a girl starting the locks and your hair is like my length you feel like you have to show something that no no disrespect to the lgbt community like no i'm not gay like i like i like boys or even if it's not about gayness <laughs> you try to put on things to let people know hey i'm a girl I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. Because I still do that. But, and I used to like wrap up my hair at work because I started a new job at Home Depot. And this time I'm surrounded by mostly white people and Indian. And then as a black person, you're kind of like, well, you know, the history is just like, they, I don't want them looking at me like, or it's just, and it's not even about black hair. I love, I don't care if my hair is natural or not. To be honest with you, it's not even that it's natural. It's the fact that I'm in a certain lock stage that just, you just can't really look nice no matter what you do unless you retwist it. And with locks, you can't always retwist your hair. So I'm just sitting here like, I want to wrap this up. And it was an insecurity for me because I didn't feel good. I stopped putting, I stopped wrapping up my hair because I'm just like, I'm tired of feeling like this. I'm tired of wrapping up my hair to go to work because that's, I'm not appreciating my hair. And it's like, I felt more insecure with my second lock journey than my first one. Cause my first one, I kind of felt the same. I did wrap up my hair for like one day. Cause when I, when I, on um, my second job was stop and shop and I, my hair stage was like almost a year in to just, you know, and I wrapped it up like one, two, maybe three times. And then I just stopped immediately. So it was quicker, but this time it took a while because you know, it's, it's really hard for someone like me, especially if you got made fun of. It's hard for someone like me because like, I always got made fun of for my parents, especially by my own. So it's like you grow up and it still kind of affects you in a way. And it's a lot to deal with, but I am showing up my hair. And sometimes to this day, I don't like it. Like sometimes I just wish it was longer. Like my first lock journey, if it's one thing I hold myself accountable on that I don't want to do this year is, or do this time, is style my hair too much. I felt like I didn't look good middle part. I feel like I look like Libby from Jimmy Neutron. I feel like it just didn't look right. And I used to always have more hair on this side than here. You know what I'm saying? Or I've styled it or so. I'm pretty sure you guys seen it. And my best friend, he didn't really say anything. But when I started dating my boyfriend, he was like, can you stop doing that? Like, I like your hair this way. 
and it's until he said that to me it it made me change that you know i tried to do this you know middle part but it was too late because my hair was my locks was not good and so i cut it and we are here we are now but even when i retwist my hair i don't do hair to i do hair and even when i did my sick lock journey when i crocheted the hair and i will do this way than here and i know he didn't like it so it took a lot for me to appreciate it just middle part because i used to like a middle part but i think i stopped liking it middle part my first set of locks was because of the hair dye and how it was messing up my hair how it was thinning up my hair how I just the hair dye when it when it comes out it looks bad or uh, when you don't be twisted it looks not it don't look good and so i think it caused the insecurity as well it's just like i don't look good until my hairs restock i meant retwisted like even now a little bit sometimes i'm like yeah until my hair is retwisted like i don't feel like i look good and I, and at the same time it's not good to feel that way but it's okay at the same time because sometimes you know it's just not it. it's not given and i think i had to learn to accept that that sometimes I do feel better when my hair is be twisted, and there's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with it. Because when your hair is like this, it, sometimes it don't look good, and that's all right. I'm not saying I don't love locks. I'm not saying I don't love natural hair. But I think this don't matter what race you are. There's going to be days you're just not liking your hair at a certain stage, and that's okay. And I had to learn that. This stage is all right. I wish it was longer. Another thing is... With my second lock journey, I would try to crochet or put hair in like extensions because I felt like I look better with longer hair and I don't look good with hair short because of my experiences or because I don't like the way it looks. Like to the point that even my first set of um, locks, like when my hair was this stage or a certain stage, I was like, even when I put on nice clothes, it just didn't fit the part because my hair is retwisted. So I was just like, I don't even feel good about this no more. I don't. And I... I don't want to do that anymore, but sometimes, like I said, it's okay. Sometimes it's just not giving, it, and that's all right. I feel like a, a big reason why I might feel that way is one thing I can say is I have a big problem with, like, I don't really have a problem with committing to something. Not really, because I'll commit to it even though sometimes I don't want to or sometimes it bothers me because I will come back. <laughs> it determines. Sometimes I have a little commitment problems, but not what you think. Um... I can, I, I'm a lot person. I'm going to, I'm going to commit to it. But there's times when it's just like, I have an issue with the process with things in life, like <clears throat> crocheting. I have a problem with, I just want it to be over with and get to the part where everything's okay. That's my problem. I'm just like, I just wish I was at the point where things are okay, but you have to work up to that. And it's the same thing with locks. So I think having locks really taught me a lot about some type of commitment enjoying the process learning the process going through the stage of the process and that's why nothing wrong with people who want to do this no matter how many times i cut my hair i'm not gonna do the quick and easy route and do instant locks or crochet locks into my hair unless maybe it's my own hair because it's teaching me to enjoy the process like i can commit to something but i do have times when i just i do want to give up sometimes but for the past maybe two three years I've been learning to not give up sometimes because things are difficult and um one thing that really taught me a lot was just being in a relationship I'm not gonna say a lot of you I did broke up with my boyfriend like last year August because I just felt like things were too get difficult and I just I was trying I felt like I kept on trying but nothing was working so I was just like I'm thinking about breaking up with him but I'm gonna explain that another time because technically I didn't really break up with him but like <laughs> hey anyways even with like that's why i'm holding myself accountable with locks because i'm just like i can't just do the fast route i tried to do a video like weeks ago of me putting marley here to make twists and there's nothing wrong with it but i had to take it out because I, it gave me allergic reaction to hair and i think the reason why I, it had to be taken out because maybe that's God's way of saying, girl, you can't just do the fast route. Because I do feel like if my hair is, I look better when my hair is longer and not short. But that's not true. And I think anybody else who does locks or thinking about it, you have to think about these things. You're going to go through stages when you just don't look good. I'm just be honest with you. Even now, I go to work and I'm just like, I know people are like, girl, why the hell your hair? But And I think if people saying that, but some people like my hair like this. And I see the growth is growing. I ain't gonna lie, there's days when I'm like, I wish my hair was longer. I just want it to be longer. Like, can I get to the stage when it was long so I can do styles, this, this, and that? But 
that's just not gonna happen and i have to be okay with that at least i like my hair be twisted and it's short and at least sometimes i'm like you know i'm like you know it don't look too bad you know it don't look too bad um i don't know if this video made sense but i hope you guys like it and i hope you guys please like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching my videos thank you for showing love to my last video and i hope i can bring in more all right bye